Hello children, how are you today? Good to know that you are out there. I'm so excited to be with you. Do you like my prophet robe? You no know, Jewish prophets usually they wear things like this. Look at my robe. And I have a rod. Look at my rod. I also have a scroll. In this scroll, there's a prophecy which I'm going to read out to you. Our topic for today is Micah and Uzia spoke of Christ's coming. Before we go on, let's quickly have a word of prayer. Father, we thank you. We give you praise. We thank you for a day like this. Thank you for the lives of the children that are watching. We pray, O oh Lord God Almighty, that your strong hand will be on them in Jesus' name. As we go on this Bible adventure, we pray that you open their hearts of understanding so that they will understand all they would learn today in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, because you have answered us in Jesus' mighty name. We have prayed. Amen. Yes, I told you I have a scroll. This scroll, there's a prophecy there, and I quickly want to read it to you. I mentioned Micah in the topic that we are taking today. I'm going to take two prophets, but this is a prophecy from Micah 5 verse 2. And what does it say? Can you see it? It says, but you, Bethlehem Ephrata, are one of the smallest towns in Judah, but from you will come one who will rule Israel for me. It comes from very old times, days long ago. Did you see that here? This is a prophecy. Yes, we're talking about prophets and we must talk about prophecy too. Yes, aren't we forgetting something? It's time to go and praise and worship God. Let's go.
welcome back from the praise and worship session. Did you dance? Because I danced very well here. Yes. What did I say her topic is? Who can remember? Okay, let me just quickly tell us. Our topic is Micah and Uzziah spoke of Christ's coming. You've been learning about prophets all the while. And here we are, we are still going to talk about two prophets today. So, before I go on, who is a prophet? I'm sure that you have learned about this all month long, throughout the month of November. Okay, let me just quickly tell us. A prophet is someone that, are, that can hear directly from God and say what he heard from God. Such prophets also go ahead to write down what they have heard. Like I read to you before, I read a prophecy. So whatever they have written down is called a prophecy. You know, God revealed things about our dear friend, Jesus Christ, long before he was born. Just like he revealed to Prophet David, you learned about Prophet David, Prophet Isaiah. You also learned about Prophet Zechariah and Jeremiah. God told them things about Jesus Christ before he was born. So you want to remind me of what he told them? Can you remember what he told them? These prophets that I just mentioned. He told them how and when Jesus will be born. He told them how he will save us. I mean, all of us. He also told them how he will help the world. Just like he told these prophets, David, Isaiah, Jeremiah, and Zechariah. He also told Micah and Uzziah. You want to know about what he told Micah? Yes, he told Micah that Jesus will be born in Bethlehem. Can you pronounce that? Can we clap it out? Bethlehem. He told Micah that Jesus will be born in Bethlehem and he will become a ruler. So all these things that God told these prophets, these special people, came to pass. But after a long time, in fact, a very long time, I'm sure that the people must have waited anxiously. And they may be asking even, will it ever come to pass? Will it ever happen? Guess what? Everything happened. God also told Uzziah. He told Uzziah in Uzziah 11.1, 1, it was recorded that out of Egypt, I have called my son. He told Uzziah of the events that made Jesus Christ to be in Egypt at that particular time. So dear friends, God's truth does not change. No matter the length of time, it does not change. Whatever he says will happen, will happen. So what is left for us? We should believe his words through his prophets, through the Bible and whatever he speaks to us about. If the things God told the prophets eventually came to pass, that means eventually those things happen then whatever God wants us about, we should listen. Whatever he tells us to do, we should also do. And he will fulfill his promises. Just like we have heard that he told the prophets so many things about the birth of Jesus Christ and those things came to pass. Even though it took a long time, eventually, it happened. The Bible adventure today is a very short one, straight to the point, but I hope you remember all we just talked about. Let me quickly do a recap for you. Uh, my recap will come in form of a question of, of questions. So what is the topic for today? 
to cancel us. I can hear somebody say, Mike and Uzia spoke of Christ's coming. That is very correct. Put your hands together for yourselves. So what did he tell Micah? He told Micah that Jesus will be born in Bethlehem. We've clapped it out before. Let's do it again. Bethlehem. Yes. And he will become what? A ruler. Put your hands together for yourself. That was brilliant. All right. That takes us to a memory verse. Let's quickly take our memory verse. Then we'll do our creativity. So what's the memory verse? Is the memory verse you've been learning? Who can remind us? Where is it taken from? From the book of Isaiah. Everybody say hi, Isaiah. Yes, Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. And what does it say? It says, for unto us a child is born. Everybody do your hand like this so that you don't forget. For unto us a child is born. He shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Can we do that again? We said the memory verse is taken from the book of Isaiah. Everybody say hi, Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 9, do your figure 9, verse 6. And what does it say? It says, For unto us a child is born. He shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. I know you would remember because you've been learning it for uh, throughout the month. All right. Let's look at um, what our creativity time uh, will be like. You learned this particular creativity in the first week of the month. Remember? Who can remember that? Well, let me just remind us here anyway. We have three things to see. And they must stick in our memory. Hmm? So let me start. God told the prophets, everybody say that. I'm sure some people are remembering now. God told the prophets. Prophets told the people. Then it happened. Just three things. In fact, you can turn it to a rhyme for yourself. Say it throughout the week so that you remember that whatever God tells the prophets, it must happen. So let's say it again. God told the prophets, prophets told the people, then it happened. Can we say it one, one more time? Because I've fallen in love with it. God told the prophets, prophets told the people, then it happened. Praise the Lord. Yes, so that is it from our Bible adventure hand today. But before we go, let's quickly have a word of prayer. Can you close your eyes, put your hands together? Father, we thank you for this wonderful Bible adventure. We thank you for the prophets that we learned about today, Micah and Uzziah. Our God told them about the coming of Christ. We pray, O oh Lord God Almighty, that these, the children, will always remember in Jesus' name. And uh, God, we pray that you continue to protect them, provide for their parents in the mighty name of Jesus. All they have learned today, they would continue to remember even for a long time. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. And everybody says what? Amen. It's just like, come your way next time. It's bye for now.